And now it's time for us to go over to this week's guest naturalist, who is Charlie Haymunching Jaws. Hello, Charlie. Yes, hello, and welcome down to the bottom of the garden, where this week I will be bringing you a special report looking at controversial new plans to reintroduce dragons into the British countryside. Beautiful creatures indeed, but is it right for them to be reintroduced into the British countryside? Well, let's find out a little bit more about them. I'm whispering because there's one just behind me now. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. This one is sunbathing, typical behaviour for dragons, which are very docile, gentle creatures. They are herbivores, they will not harm anybody, and there's no question that they're good for tourism. But there is a downside, because dragons breathe fire. And that is what all the controversy is about. Do we really want to introduce a species which will inevitably cause damage? In fact, there has been an incident in the last few days whilst we've been recording in the area. Take a look at this. This smouldering pile was, up until a couple of days ago, a local farm shed, a large timber building reduced to a pile of ash. And yes, a dragon was responsible. So there we have the dilemma. Beautiful, gentle creatures they may be, but they will always bring with them an element of destruction. Before we leave the bottom of the garden, here's some footage of these beautiful creatures in flight. Pop the magic dragon, live by the sea. Thanks so much, Charlie Haymunching Jaws, for that wonderful report from the bottom of the garden. <laughs> 